hello hello how are you guys doing today my kings and queens i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i am okay over here thank you so much for asking my name is queen m from queen's life and today we have a life update and i'm gonna be trying on two separate um lipsticks or lip gloss whatever you may call it um so as you all know i got my eyes checked and I already use reading glasses, but I started to notice a difference with my eyes looking far. So I made an appointment uh, to go to the eye doctor and they checked out my um, eyes and it turns out that I need glasses to see far as well. So I did end up picking them up already. I have them right here. So these are to look far. I showed them in another video, but I'm just gonna show you because I have an update. So these are the ones that I chose. I don't know if you guys like the way that it looks. They are black all around. They're very, very sturdy. They're not tight here or anything. They're not tight by the ears. They actually feel perfect next time i think i'm gonna get the frame a little bit thinner because i think it's too too much black in it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so let me take these off because these are to look far so um so when i went to the doctor they checked for glaucoma and the doctor uh wasn't sure he couldn't read it right for whatever reason and he couldn't tell me if I had glaucoma because I told him that I was seeing cloudy sometimes. So he referred me to another doctor. I decided to go to my original doctor that I've been going to. Um, and so today is my appointment. So that's why I don't have any makeup because they are going to put, I don't know the name of the drops, but they're going to put the drops that makes your vision blurry for like two or three hours so and if i have makeup my eyes are gonna tear and all my makeup is just gonna run down so that's why i don't have any makeup i do have some around here some concealer i haven't put any powder or anything yet um so that's what's gonna happen today i'm gonna they're gonna test me for glaucoma and cataract to see if I have it. I never had problems with my eyes before, so I don't know what's going on. Ever since I turned 45, I've been having like eye problems and now I need to wear uh, glasses for reading. And now, very newly, I need glasses to see far. I don't need them all the time. Um, so I'm probably not going to take those outside with me. I'll leave those in the house. And I'll just take my reading glasses with me wherever I go. So moving forward um, into the lipstick. I picked up this LA Colors from Dollar Tree. I took it out of the package and I threw it out before I got to show you guys. Um, because I wanted to use it in the car. I didn't have lipstick on. But I wanted to show you guys. Uh, there, this is in the nude um, collection. So there's four nude colors. This is the darkest one. Which is, let's see here. Uh, Bear With Me. That's the name of it. Bear With Me. And I'm, I thought it was like a lip balm or something like that. And when I opened it, to my surprise, it does have a, the color of the cap. You see that? So I'm just going to put it on and you guys let me know what you guys think.
it's not a mat. I can tell already it's not a mat. I like the color, but do you guys like this color better than like the flamingo color pinkish that I use um, from CoverGirl? I don't think this one kind of stands out too much and gives definition to my lips as to where the color flamingo or pink color or close to a red color but not quite red you see more the definition of the actual lip um, that goes up here and then down and then you can see more of my bottom lip, like a little bit bigger, a little bit more perkier, you know? But I don't think that this is working out. And let's see. Do you see how it smears? Look, it does smear. So if you're eating or not paying attention, you're gonna be looking like this outside not realizing that you all smeared up. So, I'm gonna take it off. It's not matte, it's glossy. Very slippery. But those that like lip balm or just like a clear gloss, you guys might like this, it just have a color in it but it's like the same texture of it um i probably wouldn't buy it again myself now this other one i don't remember if this was from dollar tree dollar zone or magic dollar i don't remember but you guys let me know if you know it's from color workshop it says magic glam Magic uh, Glamour. That's what it says there. And this is the color. Does it say a color? Let me see here. It doesn't say a color, guys. It just says Color Workshop Magic Glam. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and see. Because it doesn't say that it's a matte. It doesn't say that it's a lip gloss. It doesn't say anything. Let me see if the bottle says the name. It says High Shine Lip Gloss Brilliant no that's a different language <laughs> but it does say that it's high shine lip gloss and this is the color um more like a pink purple kind of color and let's try it definitely uh, lip uh gloss It doesn't smell good at all. I would like it better if the color was darker. But how do you like this one, guys? very very shiny so here it says high shine lip gloss there's no color to it guys so i do apologize about that i don't know why the package doesn't say the um name but i just want to know your opinion on this color does it look good on me does it stand out my lips are they do they look more perkier than the one that i just 
tested, which was this one. I want to know if the nudes and browns go more with my skin tone or do the dark pink, hot pink is better. Red is too much red for me. Um, but I would love to know all of your opinions and what color suits me better, my skin color and everything. This one definitely is a lip gloss. It's very, very slippery. And it does smear very, very easily, as you can see. I usually like to wear my CoverGirl um, 24 hour lasting um, lipstick because I can eat, I can go out, I can, you know, anything th throughout the day and still have the lipstick on and I don't have to worry about it rubbing off. But I do like to test a lot of lipsticks and lip gloss and let you know my opinion. These two that I um, tested was a th thumbs down. They smear, they, it, they're they gonna come off immediately. They're not gonna last not even a half hour in your lips the right way. So I gotta take it off. So I could put my powder and my CoverGirl lipstick. So you guys let me know in the comment section below which color uh, suits me better. Either the brown nude color or the pinkish reddish color. I would love to know all of your opinion. And of course, I will answer you back. I like to keep that communication open between you and I and each other and I'll always give you a heart and a thumbs up to acknowledge all of your messages so guys thank you so much for spending this time with me and checking out these two um one lipstick and one um lip gloss uh with me and um if you're new i hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and if you're already a member thank you so much for showing me so much support i really do appreciate you guys and i appreciate all your comments all your likes all your dms all your messages and you guys know that when you message me i always answer you guys back so with that being said that concludes this video I will let you guys know in my next video or next couple of videos what the eye doctor said if I do have glaucoma or cataract and what they're going to do and if I do what kind of treatment they're going to give me. I don't know what's going to happen but you know it's necessary. We've been in a pandemic. I've been locked in my house for so long and I'm just updating all my doctor's appointments. I've got my teeth fixed, you know, fixed and um, cleaned up. And I had two cavities and I got that done. And then I got my eyes checked. I'm back into my physical therapy for my hip replacement. Um, so I'm just updating all of my doctors and have my folders up to date because I do have seven heart surgeries. Um, ever since I got the second uh, vaccine, um, I've done updates. I only did three updates, but now that it's been over a week, um, my heart continuously hurts every day, all day long, even when I'm sleeping. So I have called my cardiologist and I have called my EP doctor and I have called the company that has my pacemaker and defibrillator to see if maybe I got a shock while I was asleep, but it hurts by my heart area when I take a deep breath. Um, and even if I'm not doing anything, it's hurting me on the heart side armpit down here it hurts me all day long um so they're gonna check today um the reading 
through a um, machine that I have in my house and they read it in the hospital and let me know if there was any sign of different activity going on within my heart. Did I get a shock or what happened? But I know that I've been in pain, heart pain, ever since I got the second uh, shot. I got the Pfizer shot. So guys, if you have a heart condition, speak with your doctor, ask him all the questions that you think that you need to ask because um, I'm having a lot, a lot of heart pain and it's actually scaring me. I think they're gonna call me today and tell me to go into the hospital because the pain is already days and days and days and that's not normal. Uh, my whole left arm hurts, so that's, a bad, that's not a good sign. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they do check through the machine that I have that passes all the information straight to their office 24 hours a day with all my heart activities. And hopefully they give me good news so I could calm down because I'm starting to panic because I don't know what's going on. Guys, so that's my life update with a whole bunch of things going on uh, that I'm doing, you know, on top of doing the, you know, the YouTube and all the other platforms. I've been very, very busy, guys, but I appreciate you sticking around with me and rocking it out with me and supporting me. And I appreciate all of you. So guys, with that being said, don't forget to stay home, stay safe, spend time with your family, create memories, capture them on camera. Don't forget to be blessed, be happy. Most importantly, stay healthy. Don't forget to be positive, spread that positivity and that positivity will always, always, always come right back to you. Oh, well,